real estate to work off the back of. Yeah, it's Mulsi now, the player who finds himself isolated. Hype split up and gone towards Rafters searching. There's a TP from Kayak in sight as they start to make inroads. First headshot lands, but Sui and Sarah are taking the kills. Defuse beginning to get worked on, not planted for Apen, but damage dealt. And as he doubles up, it's a three on two for Sweet and Sour. Mulsi with an equalizer. Kayak's feet on spot. The poles between them have to try and pull back the pistol. And Kayak's already started to do it. Famzam on the drop down. Other side of the cove. Misses the shot. And just like that. Who's in the bomb even? Yeah. Just now, though, has this, the ultimate games that I'm looking at for Sween. So, up, the reckoning up and available. The Hunter's Fury one off, and straight away the two entries being taken. Down 3v2, Hype the only one with a rifle and looking for a fight. Trying to scrap. The thing is, though, as soon as this Sween so are happy to give it, completely free. Get one back and well, Sweet and Sour Pazza, you know what they're like, they'll scrap if they need to and on site they're doing so well. Evolver at the back of site, it has to be two sheriffs to get it done now. No weapons to get picked up just yet. Still they haven't got onto the spike and they're weary of players being left and right and centre and that's the case as Creamy cleans up. Clean from Creamy and that's exactly what you want. These are so quick, the dimensional drift through eight. Tempo is the one that's going to have to take on Kayak and multiple players. It's hype Ooh. as well, and it's Apex to get the kill. Unlucky Tempo knew how he, that he had to isolate a fight there, put under pressure immediately by Apex, and they continue to move it forward. Ticey elevates his own to work with here as the Reckoning's just pushed them further back, but really had any capitalization from it. Yeah, we need some initial delay from Sweet and Sour though before we can get the real value from the Hunter's Fury. And well, as the numbers begin to dwindle, it's about protecting the spot, protecting the post plan and the positions that they're at. Mm -hmm. Ethan's going to get caught out, and now it's up to Van Zap. No! Hey! From out of screen. Is it threatening the possibility, the pressure of a player yellow? Kayak Hold is where this one starts, however. And seeing that turret knows there's at least one, and that would be the second player, Creamy Down. Oh, nice shot from Temple, very clean, and so is Kayak on the other side. And we'll, we'll get traded out even between both teams though, Hazer. Yes. And you've got to be looking at the fact that Soulcast and Kayak are actually gone. Pipe has his ultimate, Hunter's Fury in play, but the hand, wait, a mistake made there though. And a three on two. Ah, oh, well, the, the players aren't getting on this. Have to use the Hunter's Fury, Wolf is just holding. Finally, it's going to be Aven to actually get them off this bike. But still, Mosey now into the clutch. Still got Harbour Utility to stop players seeing where exactly he is. But Tempo swinging out, we'll see exactly where to put his bullets. He wants to stay put. Mosey's going to get caught in this, but nobody follows it up. Because it's a fake hazard. The rest of the players are already on B and getting the spike down. Yeah. We've seen a ball by the oh. just trying to spike get through. Down. At least it's a trade. Base with a lockdown off beside it. There's absolutely nowhere to run if you're sweet and sour. Creamy trying to take the dual code now. Broken what? players on the other side. Shattered. Hype will have his way in a little bit of space. Off. Lodge this clutch. And they should do. They should. Just pegged away, yeah, time's too low, and it's so well played from Sweet and Sour in the end. It's these off-roll picks which have looked good for him so far. Sweet and Sour very direct, keep it simple through middle, however. Hype up close first fight, and he wins it, and Mossy will too. And it's Tyson, you've got to be worried about the right click, Kaza. That's when it goes wrong. Thinking about it, is it going to be on Mossy's monitor? Is he going to spot the head? What? He hasn't! He's already crossed! Fans out! No way he wins that fight! That's just going to allow the chance for the spike go to go down and it's Tempo as well that's walked through mid. Are they aware? One I mean, you can see remaining. a Volva looking and there it is. Into there the clutch, are. Bam Zam goes. Not like this, Cairo. Not like this. Bam Zam's found clutches before. What? Missed shot, Kayak invites an extra kill. They should expect this cascade behind it. Be long space secured. Another thing to note, sorry, Hazard, was that Tyson's actually bringing in the attacking yeah, goal. There it and is. there it is. Formally introduced to Sweet and Sour. Mosey, though, has to try and get out with at least one more. It does so. Numbers equal on both sides. Geo with Sweet and Sour. It's Sweet and Sour that is stuck in this position with Evolver here in all the steps. The player's not even checking. And Evolver going huge. It's tempo to try and get something back, but it's not going to be the case. Through middle with no spike plant yet inside the fumes. So much delay. Uh, double up. Pat, yeah, they've got to try and contest it. Defumigate it as you always remind me, Hazard, but 
As I was telling you, B site is really being stunk up by either two <laughs> teams. <laughs> and it's just Apex that completely get rid. Oh. Apex attack. But put behind this early utility, belt players can't get out as quick as they'd like. All focus turn towards the middle, but that is where Kayak makes his entry. Busts down the door with two kills, and it's already a 5 on. Yeah, it has. And I mean, you now go into an Apex post plan where they're well and truly set up. You know how they swing off each other, you know what the importance is put on. It's fundamentals, and you see it right here. All three players, it's almost like the old Astralis stat, and Apex make it look so... Hazard, that's it. Apex are the very best, and there's been nobody to even really say that they're second. Kayak, I'm just showing how good they are. The best duelist in the league. Apex still waiting for a reaction. Knows it's someone else. Is going to try and trade back. And it's actually elsewhere on the map. If Kayak spotting out a little bit of information here. Back through his own cove. Now Ticey needs to be the duelist that captures the headlines. But instead, overshadowed by the man that does everything. Just dominate tower over. Sweet yeah. show up. This time Hype's Lurk has not been cut out from middle as well. So he can have big impact and already does. Yeah, there goes Temple. Tysi trying to swing out and will win that against Tite. That two rifles which Sweet and Sour can begin to work with. The clone being an issue and still they're not truly on the spike. Just spamming through and well it's going to be one spray that takes out two with Soulcast. It seems to be the case. Yeah, it does. They are truly buying into this being the play but with no sound surely they're beginning to think that this is just a fake. I mean, Ethan investigating mid, and the players now know the jig is up. Spike is going down on A, and they're taking it really slow to get back over. Although, Hype does give themselves up. Numbers are equal here. Ooh. Ah, they could start to swing in the favor of Sweet and Sour, instead, it goes the opposite way. Map control lost in the process. Avova now deep with a snake bite in pocket. Shocks to go around. And again, there it is. The most expensive smash and grab operation in challenges. The crown jewel of the East region to close. Solcast there with him. Investigating. And the trap will be sprung. Mossy has the spike. This will be a little careful here. It's the first player in, it's dropped. Bamzam confirmation that this is a little bit more than meets the eye. Pivot towards the B called, but Hype is the first that falls. Tap of the spike. Nobody coming while well, those bullets fly in their way. It's so cast they're actually beaten for. Up on stairs, and here it is. Only gets one. I don't want to be caught by the occasion. Solcas starting to play them like a fiddle. Ticey shown out the door by the paint shells, but Solcas is taken down in the process. So with the stairs player gone, all attention on the site. Kayak, the last that remains. Finally, he gets the duel on the waterfall player. Tempo taken out. Set up, going to stairs, and now with all of it. Sweet and Sour here, this is going to be a 5v5 brawl. You, you don't have hype uh, through the middle of the map Spike either, so all in. eyes on this push. Spike dropped right in the choke. And don't want to give 1v1s or 2v1s. Anything which is in Apex's favour, which they can claw their own back. You can just see the bullets flying over the head. Bams up, they've got no head left. It's all up to Soulcast now in the one versus four. Sure, you've been good, mate, but I don't think you're going to be good enough for this one. It's going to be that short range. Or the possibility that they just pivot straight through the door. It's still a, a real chance that that could happen. Creamy up close, and oh, his flawless streak has come to an end. First black mark on the scorecard. Something else to think about, and Kayak has recovered one for yeah. himself. Big duel. Tempo wins this. It's the lockdown in play. Kayak instead will best him. The Polish powerhouse continues. As straight onto the spike, and Apex really far back, using blast packs, the reuse utility to get players Are off of the spike, but it's Tyson on players towards stand main, stand that's taking everything in his stride, time so low, I not. think this could be done, fans are just holding four, but unfortunately... Lists the lot, the works, wherever he's required, he's stepped up, driving wedges in the defence, trying to find a little bit of extra ground, but the Prowler is right on time, Aethon isolated, crossfire broken in the sight, but they still hold the all-important angle to stop the cross. Oh, Bamzam, the utility is so good, and the ultimate not good from Sweet and Sour. Neither is the engagements, and now it's up to Tempo, which doesn't even get a chance to take this through the door. And towards main. 
Yeah, with the lockdown used, Nightfall back in. Heavy towards the spawn side for Apex, but they're guarding the rear brilliantly. Molsi with three kills. And that is as well, and it's going to hunt down these last couple of players. Tempo low. Certainly does. But as for now, has a still sweet and sour prepare and wait to get in. Here comes the nightfall. And it's oh. combination after combination. The players put low because of the ultimate use, trying to dip out, trying to use their forces to work together. But Sweet and Sour have had enough. Oh, you so you thought. Mm. Bamzam just peeks out solo and gives a freebie towards the Norwegians. You have to walk that line. You have to. One sweet and sour. Remaining. Maybe Spike overstaying their beat. welcome with an overpeak or two. But Spinder a web of trickery left. himself. Apen has been here since the start of things. He is a difficult clear in the corner. And when you TP straight into his open arms, there's only going to be one. And Paranoia comes in main. They've split up and managed to find this space, Sweet and Sour. Yeah, I mean, you've got to be thinking. No fade prowlers to clear the pit. Big kill, though, for the edges of it. Now we see Sweet and Silver begin to walk round and circle what <laughs> is the pit. And that's so cast down. A 2v1. Hate pass to come through huge. We've seen this clutch on the B side before. Can he come up once again? Spike up, up to Vamzam. But it's Hate that comes up clutch once again. And Kayak. The prominent Polish duo trying to tee each other up. It was Molsi who was carrying Kayak around the Apex facility earlier today, but he's got to lift himself through that engagement. Ticey a trade on the ults. Both raises gone now. All eyes on A for A, but he gives up the game. It's possible. The players haven't got towards A. I'm still alive. Well, that's left. no longer the case, mate. It's straight on towards the A site. It's all engagement. Oh. And it's all so good. It's Viper, though. A Vamzam gets it the other way, and we talk about value has a, a trap. Way to be strong once again. It's almost like the first pistol round that we saw as Apex and Sweet and Sour brawl it out. It's actually Sweet and Sour that come out on top just momentarily, still swinging through, still trading out each other. 2v2. Utility game. They ate a face load of it on the way through. Yeah. Now a fight to be taken in the 2v2. Of over up close. Remaining. Spots out Apen. First fight and the second to go with it. No spike plant from them on the attack thus far. Speaking so little aware that there could be someone on the flank and well it will be Kayak. Cover Four cover. players dedicated towards oh. holding the site and well there's the spam zap coming through once again. Nothing Turret had walls. first contact. Gonna go away, we'll just up to Mosey, feeling enough, that's good two shots, but on to AHP, has that, it's gonna be sweet and sour once again to convert that most important round. Like you say, it would... Again, this mound pressure being put on, the, the similar util, it's almost like deja vu, it's a mirror matchup, a mirror play, but it's Apex to come out on top and completely smash Sweet and Sour all through. Standing. Only Bam Sam left. I'm already highly aware that this area of the map is overloaded, a target rich environment for him to unload the Odin's magazine into, and it already claims its first victim. Hype's gone down, Cloud onto the spike. Actually, no, it's just slightly fallen short, so not quite able to bridge the gap as he'd hope, but flank from Solkas does exactly what you think. The BCT EMEA champion puts down his mark with a pit early, which Sweet and Sour will run straight into. Yeah, they're just trying to disrespect what Apex have put forward. And well, Tyson being the first one to do it will get completely... Which they go to, though. Apex closing a lot of ground on Sweet and Sour as well. They can smell the blood in the water and Malsi hungry for it, perhaps. The red mist descending creamy in my eyes. Left. I think so, activating, but again, we've seen this before, not checking behind the box is what punishes you. That's exactly the case. It's up to the last two remaining controllers for Sweet and Sour and just ones that have been gifted to Apex and every single time it's Apex that win them out. Yeah, you can tell Hype's been put through the ringer after that previous map. Still, when you actually go back and look at the statistics for uh, first duels, he went plus three, Solkast towards tree. He'll put the molly down as he always does. A little bit more respect on the sweet and sour side this time. Tuck towards tree, tempo still going, as is Solkast. Another highlight moment, headshot through the wall, but he's unperturbed. Nearly a four. But the run. fact of the matter is, 
It's an equalizing kill. One which Kayak can spin off the back of. Head on a swivel. Um, now, as both fades must collect themselves for what could be a clutch which closes. Oh, hands up. Doesn't even get a chance. Creamy faces up. Gifted to Mosey and sends us into map number three. Yeah, really smartly played by Tempo. Waits for it to get exposed. Info back on mid. Do Sweet and Sour commit to these fights? Seems to be the case. And Hype outweighed, outmatched. Paranoia in through market. Floodgates opening up Apex now back on the attack. Yeah, they're putting Sweet and Sour in a bad spot. They have tried to fight through me. CT, the rules almost switched here. I mean, both teams have reacted. Sweet and Sour, the defender's the one that made the first move. Tempo still tapping away. Then unpack what's in front of them with only 25 seconds left. Goes. This is it. This is where the gunfights are going to be easier. And here we go. Down to one versus one. Hype back on. All damage, and the wall is up here for hype as well, so he can reposition to the corner. Tasty going to corner themselves, and they've put themselves in a corner. Thing that the rest of his team can come quickly enough, and it looks like they'll be right on time. Amazon says he's used too oh. early, but Tasty's bullets have not been. If the Apex have walked into what is a disaster for them, it's all up to Kayak, and you already know how low they are. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Vamzam having to respect what's been put forward and the pressure that's been put towards him. Oh, Vamzam, <laughs> what a shot. The Gecko Jewel and retake. Every single flash available on the sweet and sour side. Cut the noise, the doubt that's going to be in the back of Sweet and Sour's mind. Ethan gets the pick ahead. Down now. And finally, Apex in position to try and get this one over the oh. line, especially with getting rid of Fams up here. There's still two rifles in their hands, Hazard. Really big kill from Molsey. Beyond the veil, he finds another straight through the post box. Ethan delivered. Creamy two back. That is the equalizer. But Solkas in a one versus two is still outmatching everyone. Utility coming out from Apex and it will stop them straight in their tracks. Famzam trying to hold down. Oh, okay, Famzam, oh, oh, oh. there's three. Spin down, Solkas can't be retrieved. That's exactly what is going to happen, but stopped immediately. Only one player is of over. Uh, hype, sorry, all the way out in elbow. Oh, does he fancy his chances for another clutch here? Still trying to beat out the peaks, trying to beat out sweet and sour. And well, unfortunately, the beckoning has been. Didn't do too much about it yet. And yeah, no command does come in. Everyone's suppressed. There's still jewels to be taken, and they're split up both ways. Traded out even. Trying to get the thrash in somewhere near. The spike's so open and it's going to favor Apex so much. Even raising into this one. Apex are pushing everything to the middle of the belt. Firing you to, to Sweden. Getting rid of any Sweden Sour players. Goes by the thrash. Will help out a hold oh, of the spike. Sticky. He's just going to get it closed, but it's Mosey that shuts them out. So many times. Being against the best. Flash. Oh, oh. In terms of the, the IV space, right, they have it. It was just a peek around the other side. Gets out on spot. In terms oh. of middle, Ticey's taking fights that he simply cannot win. Bites off more than he can shoot. Avova's position still just settled here. Turns around quick enough. Tempo with his cage. Utility for the next. Three on two. Is there? No. All players coming in through Link instead. There's a lot. out a simple flash, but it's actually the players playing anti that gets it done. Up through middle, somewhere different where Sweet Apex decide to hit. Sweet Sour respecting it, but the thing is though, Ticey has it. It's went completely off script from what Sweet and Sour are doing. Trying to stick away, stay away from the fight. Apex take it to them and completely wipe them out. There's a couple back, but combination, Creamy just escaping. But Aethon is towards main, plays the discipline, looks oh. to hoard more kills than he could maybe carry. Kayak is laboured on that first fight, and while flashed up, Hype is there to save the day. A sick for Apex secure. Shot in the head. That's exactly what happens, there. and it's such a common angle as well. Sweet and Sour have already played this once or twice and found kills from it. Apex right, cognizant of that fact, and now on towards the site exec itself. Solkas is getting himself another. 
Potential perhaps for a Vova walled up, and he is, but thrown over the edge in the process. Famzam doesn't get the kill, the ult is offline, but Solkas is here to stay. To call Ration. That's the initiation, but as for Sweet and Silver, they're already dipping out. That's enough for them. Creamy's tried to get cheeky, and while the players in CT are completely caught, Ethan trying to hold down, trying to play protector. Temple comes in, doesn't get the chance, doesn't get the opportunity. And look at this the Viper's pit, and just everything being sent towards Sweet and Silver. They've not got a blooming chance. The Viper is detained. They are down, but not out. Again, to be completely candid, Apex are proving why we have them a class above. A Vova, ooh, troublesome situation for him here early, though, and that uncharacteristic entry pick means that Ticey, in fact, gets his second of the round, but it's not done yet. So good. Looking to double dip, and there it is. There we go. The player's peeking out. Can't get more than two, though. And it goes back to height. Once again, deny, trying to deny the spike, but there we have it. He's going absolutely nowhere. You're going to have a hard time recovering that one. In fact, he's not even going to. Hasn't quite solved the fake. Still two players here, and the two anchors. Height already getting his first. Nosey coming in to support, although uh, it's just when you think Tembo oh, escapes geez. to the back of sight, they've got no chance of being spammed through walls, they're not even seeing the gunfights that they want to take. Finally the rest of the players get oh, out, oh, but it's wow. absolutely flawless indeed. Sarah trying to play just isn't working out. Tacy paranoid, doesn't want to walk any further, but is that to their own detriment it is, as they try to get something here. Apex, they look to drive the stake through Sweet and Sour's heart. There is no way that they're being allowed to get up tomorrow without feeling hurt, without feeling pain, and that's exactly what happens here. Temple now left to dance between too many players, and here comes Mosey to send them back. Awaiting them, one round away. And they have the needle and thread at the tapestry. Oh, Tempo's tried to pull at the strings. Middle. The boy from East who could end it all in the north. First picked up. Nothing more than that. All she wrote in the. Well aware, well, the wingman goes in. It's going to be 3 or 3v2. Three Spike denied. Oh. They can't get it down. Time's so low. Seat so will have to force their way out. They have to try and find a way, but it's not. It's the monarchy to do it all. Spike down, pit invested. No chance for Sweet and Sour. The noisy neighbours have been silenced in Apex.